Welcome to RCTech. This is Ritesh Srinivasan. In this video, let's look at how we can implement text classification using a custom text data set using the PyTorch library. Okay. So PyTorch is a open source framework. It's a Python based uh, framework and uh, it uh, accelerates the path from research prototyping to production uh, deployment. It has many features. Uh, it is production ready, you have distributed training, um, robust ecosystem, cloud support, etc. Right? So PyTorch has a lot of inbuilt libraries for you to do uh, machine learning and deep learning. So to install uh, PyTorch, I have created a Conda environment, a virtual environment, and then I have installed uh, the 1.9.0 version, the latest version, by following this command over here. So I create a Python virtual environment and then I install um, PyTorch okay, by running this command. So in that way I have created a virtual environment. I have also installed Jupyter within the virtual environment. Now let's go to our uh, notebook. Okay, So in this Jupyter notebook I am looking at how we can implement text classification using PyTorch. The data set is the tweet sentiment uh, extraction challenge from Kaggle. So in this data set if you look at uh, you have train test and uh, data sets and in each data set it's a csv file where you have the following columns text id text sentiment and selected text so here the challenge was actually to extract the selected text but what we are interested is in sentiment classification so i'll be mostly looking at the text and sentiment columns from these files okay so now let's uh, import the data set okay so all the libraries uh, we import necessary libraries i have defined some pre-processing function on the sentiment text or the text basically tweet text and these are the functions one is for removing emojis removing urls uh, for cleaning the text okay so you could replace emojis with their equivalent uh, text but i have removed it over here i'm not looking at really the accuracy of the tweet classification i am more concerned with the process of how we can create uh, how we can do text classification using PyTorch on a custom data set. Okay. So the sentiment is uh, present over here as positive, negative or neutral. I am converting them into values in this get sentiment function. So positive becomes uh, value 2, negative becomes 1 and neutral is 0. Okay. So I load in the uh, tweet sentiment uh, basically the train data set. Okay. And I check if any columns are uh, null. And I also look at the number of words in the text. If it is greater than two only those uh, rows of text i consider for this task otherwise i drop rest of the this thing so here i am applying that mask and i am uh, you know getting all those tweets which have at least more than two words present okay so then i do pre-processing on the text i also convert the sentiment values into labels using this get sentiment function okay so here uh, positive becomes uh, 2, the label is 2, for negative it is 1 and for neutral it is 0. That is what I am doing over here on the train data. Then on the test data, I do the same process. I drop all those uh, tweets which have less than uh, 2 words. And then I also apply pre-processing as well as I convert the sentiment label present in the test data. Uh, uh, basically the sentiment value to the label. Okay, so once I do this, this is the distribution of our train data and test data. So we have totally uh, 26k uh, tweets in the train data, and this is the distribution of the classes. You have 10k neutral, you have 8.3k positive tweets, and uh, 7.6k negative tweets. And in the test data, you have uh, 3.4k tweets, and neutral, you have 1.3k, positive is 1k, and negative is uh, 983. Okay, so this is the distribution of tweets. Okay, so now we got our uh, training data and test data. What I'll do further is that I'll split the training data into train and validation data. So I use the standard train test split from a, a sklearn library. And here I have created the train test and validation data. Okay, so this, this is the data actually. Okay, but uh, going by this tutorial for classifying text okay so this is the text classification tutorial of pytorch uh, so pytorch uh, people have actually put this tutorial so if you look at this tutorial 
This is using another library called Tosh Text, which I have also installed. So here there is this uh, access to the raw data as an iterator. Okay, and here they are importing a particular uh, data set, which already has a split of train uh, and uh, test. Okay, so they get this iterator, and on this iterator they perform a set of tasks. Okay, so to do it on a custom data set, we need a iterator on our custom data set. To get that iterator. what we can do is that we can create tuples basically a list of tuples of our labels along with the train text okay so this that is what is being done over here so we create a zip object of our labels in the training data and the list of text in the training data okay so basically this will create a tuple where a list of tuples where every tuple is a label along with the associated text so like that i create for validation data as well as for our test data over here okay so once i create these uh, list objects your uh, data set can be created from this or your iterator can be automatically created from this so let's look at that next okay so we will import torch and before that this is the distribution of our training data validation data and test data along with the class distributions so we import torch we also import data loader from uh, torchutils.data and we see if uh, gpu device is available else it is cpu i have a gpu in my laptop so the device is gpu over here okay so then what we need to create is that we need to create a vocabulary for our uh, text okay so basically we need to create a vocabulary and then we need to create indexes for our text so the, basically the text has to be converted into index numbers like this based on the vocabulary so for that what we can do is that in uh, uh, pytorch uh, Py you have this get tokenizer as part of utils you also have build vocab from iterator okay so we instantiate a tokenizer object and our iterator over here is the training data okay so since we created a training data as a list of tuples that become uh, we can use it as an iterator so here what is done is that you have this def, uh, def, uh, what you call method yield tokens where you are passing the iter uh, data iterator and here for the first value is the label in the tuple the second value is the text and for the text what you do is that you will uh, uh, do a tokenizer on the text and you will get the indexes like this okay so here now the first step what you are doing is that you are building a vocab vocab okay, is nothing but the list of unique words and if there are any words which are uh, uh, you know for handling words which are not present in the vocab we will have this unknown uh, uh, token okay so here we are creating the vocabulary so this is how you have built the vocabulary okay now we will create two methods for um, you know your text pipeline so text pipeline is nothing but take text as input and uh, you know you um, get the using the vocab you get the values of the basically the index of the words so basically this process converts words over here into an index okay and label is nothing but just the integer value of your uh, label okay so for example if you run text pipeline on some text like this here is an example it gets converted based on our vocabulary which was built over here on the training data it gets converted into this index values similarly for the label pipeline it just converts it into an integer if you pass a string okay so then what we do is that there is this function called we need to define a function called collat batch okay so basically idea is we will in the data loader we will actually create batches and in every batch what we need to do is that we have to create a list of text which is your processed text basically every tweet in a batch is converted you know in your training data or test data or validation data using this text line pipeline is converted into a set of indices okay so that is the process text okay so for label batch and text in batch what you do is that you append the labels to the label list using the label pipeline and you convert the text using the text pipeline you get these indices then this array is actually converted to a torch uh, tensor and that is stored in processed text and you create a text list of processed text okay which you and you also have an offset which is the length of your uh, text size basically so 
you push these things basically you create torch uh, tensors of uh, the label list as well as text list and offsets and you push this to the device for processing okay so that is this collate batch function okay this will be used later i'll explain where it will be used now let's go to uh, you know creating our text classification model so what i've done is that i followed the tutorial over here to create a text classification model so the idea over here is that we have our text torch text basically our text then we have our vocabulary which will convert it into indexes these indexes you know per instance in a batch are uh, given as input to an embedding bag okay now what is this embedding bag layer so embedding bag layer what it does is that it converts each of this index of a word basically into an embedding and then if you give a sentence as input the embedding bag will give an average embedding for all the words over here so each of these words is converted into an embedding and then an average is computed across all words of an sentence and that is the output from the embedding bag okay and then this is given to a linear layer and it's uh, basically your classification will be done over here right what i've done is that i've modified it a little bit okay so i have this embedding layer i have a certain vocab size okay so the vocab size i have defined it to be 128 basically uh, it is the length of the vocab sorry the embedding size is 128 so what i am doing is that for every word you get 128 uh, dimensional embeddings and then every word in a sentence for every, uh, you get the embedding and the embeddings are then averaged so that is this layer and then dot embedding back okay so then i forward uh, that embedding uh, basically uh, the averaged embedding to a linear layer of size uh, whose uh, of size 64 right then from that i reduce it to another i pass it to another linear layer where i reduce the size from 64 to 16 and finally the last layer where uh, i reduce from 16 to the number of classes okay so in this layer you have 16 inputs coming from the previous layer and you have uh, the number of class which is 3 over here basically 3 neurons okay so in our model uh, for we create a class text classification model and it kind of inherits the nn module function from uh, torch okay and here we define our uh, model okay then we do initialization of weights of our model over here and then we need to define a forward pass of our model okay so for the forward pass we need to pass the text and offsets which we pass to the embedding layer okay and then from the embedding layer we get the average uh, what you call embedding for that particular text which we pass to the uh, first linear layer right and then we do a relu on the linear layer relu activation on the linear layer to get the output of the first layer then we pass it to the second layer okay and again we do a relu function uh, activation function on that okay and then we pass it to the last layer here we don't do any activation function i will come to that why we don't do that okay so this is our simple model so what i've done is that i've taken this exact model and i've added two more linear layers before the final linear layer okay just to increase the complexity of the model a little bit for our text classification okay so here uh, there are some more details on that uh, you know collate function which works on a batch of samples generated from the data loader so here what is done is that collate function will process them according to the data processing pipelines declared previously so that is what is done on the collate function over here so which are the previous uh, collate batch function okay so this is the model we have defined okay now we instantiate the model class over basically an object of the model class okay so for that what we require we require the vocab size so which is the length of the vocabulary which was created before we also require the embedding size so we say that for every word 128 uh, embed bit embedding is fine so that is the embedding size and number of classes basically three over here and then we create the model and we push it to the device the device here is the gpu okay if the gpu was not available it will be the cpu okay then we have to define our train and evaluate functions so there is a particular way in which training is done in pytorch so what we do is that for every uh, batch right we have the data loader 
uh, basically we get uh, batches from the data loader and for every batch what we'll do is that we will uh, make the optimizer basically we'll do zero gradients first and then we'll get the predicted label from the model so how it does is that model will actually do a forward pass of the your input data and you'll get the output right and then a loss is calculated using a criterion uh, we do a predicted uh, uh, so basically you have the predicted label from the model forward pass and you also have the ground truth label in your training okay so you get the loss then you need to back propagate the loss okay then there is some uh, gradient normalization which is happening over here and then you call the optimizer to you know uh, move the gradients basically to optimize the gradients okay to determine the direction of movement of the gradients and then here is there is some computation on the accuracy okay so if basically from the predicted label if it is is equal to ground truth then your accuracy count increases okay and uh, basically this is uh, a total label uh, total count of all uh, labels and this is the uh, correct um, properly predicted uh, label so total accuracy divided by total count will give you your accuracy right of the uh, this particular step okay so this is your training here is your evaluation in evaluation what you will do you will not do uh, you will do model dot eval so in a previous video also i have explained so this is like a flag which you uh, this is like a flag to the internal model to you know stop doing things like uh, backward propagation of gradients loss backward computation is not required over here so that is what is done over here and you would also do with torch dot no grad because now you don't want to compute gradients you just want to predict the label and you know compute some uh, loss and uh, accuracy on the predicted label so this is the evaluation part okay so now we have defined our train and evaluation part now let's go to the main part where we will actually you know create our data loaders for our training data validation data and test data we will define the optimizer parameters and all those things over here okay so we would uh, these are some hyper parameters like we would train our model for 10 epochs the learning rate is 10 the batch size is 16 so the loss over here is cross entropy loss okay so if you look at torch and then cross entropy loss it does an internal soft uh, what you call uh, soft max okay and then it computes the cross entropy that is why actually we don't do any activation function over here for the last layer we just return the output of the last layer okay because using this criterion basically this uh, loss function it will do that task for you that is what i have understood when i looked at the the uh, what you call description of this cross entropy loss so within this it does that softmax activation and then you get the ground truth versus uh, you know computation of ground truth versus your uh, predicted values okay optimizer is sgd optimizer uh, and then the, there is a scheduling uh, to actually decay of your uh, learning rate which is defined over here right so now uh, since we created our iterators for our train data test data and valid data uh, we have created our iterators so now we can create our data loaders okay and our batch size is 16 so what we do is that uh, here we create our data loaders where we pass our iterators we also do shuffle on the batches and we call the collate function to actually prepare this batch you know so that it can be uh, you know you can either tra perform training on it or you can perform uh, your uh, evaluation on it okay so that is what is done over here so these data loaders are also iterators okay so that is what is created over here and then what you do is that for every epoch you train you call the train method on the train data loader okay you call the evaluate on the validation data loader okay and then you also do a scheduler step if your accuracy uh, you know total accuracy is greater than the if it is greater than the uh, validation accuracy right then you actually do a scheduler you call the scheduler step so this is how you actually now train your model so when you execute that you can see like this so what happens is that end of every epoch you have your uh, you know this is within the batch you have these uh, accuracy for every 500 batches right this is on the train data this is on the validation data 
so after some time you will see that uh, you know your model is actually performing very well on the train data but comparatively less accuracy on your uh, validation data so it's kind of overfitting on your train data okay so in this way you have actually trained your model okay so the concept in pytorch is that you need to create iterators on your custom data set okay so which is what you have done over here you have create your uh, your iterators then you create a vocabulary for your text okay we and then you define pipelines to actually convert your text to indices okay then you define a collate batch function for every batch basically this is to convert every batch such that uh, you know you create tensors of list of text and list of labels along with the offsets and push them to the device so this is the collate batch function okay then you have defined your model okay then you have uh, created an instance of the model okay with the appropriate uh, embedding size and the vocab size then you have defined your train and evaluate uh, functions so in train what happens is that it takes every batch for every batch you do a forward pass then you compute the loss you do a backward uh, loss pro uh, propagation and you do an optimizer step okay this happens for every batch so this is your uh, train uh, function then you have your evaluate function okay defined which is just evaluation of the uh, data set or uh, the batches in the data loader basically now uh, then what you do is that you define your hyperparameters and uh, you create your data loaders for your train uh, uh, what you call uh, train uh, iterators uh, test iterators and valid iterators and uh, on every batch collate function is called and your data loader is created okay then you call your uh, basically training process basically you train on uh, you call for every epoch you pass the train data loader and you also evaluate the model on your validation data loader okay on the validation data so this is the results now let us evaluate the results on our test data so on your test data when you evaluate you get an accuracy of 0.69 so if you see over here on the training data it is somewhere 0.76 and the test data is 0.69 so in the training data is definitely overfitting which you can uh, you know check uh, correct by using some kind of dropout layer or regularization i'm not going into that so once uh, we got the test accuracy we can also check this model uh, by passing some text so in that case what we do is that we have our label mapper over here so 2 to positive 1 to negative and 0 to neutral and we define a small predict function where we pass the text and the text pipeline text pipeline is for pre-processing of text uh, and then we call a model basically we do torch dot no grad over here right and we pass our uh, text to the text pipeline which converts it into uh, and then uh, use torch tensor to convert it into uh, torch tensors and then we pass that to our uh, model okay and we get the output and we do an argmax on the output to get our uh, class okay we get an integer value then we'll map it into the sentiment label to get our uh, sentiment so if you pass a uh, input text like this and we move the model from uh, gpu to cpu okay and when we do we call the predict function okay we get the prediction over here so it says that this is a neutral tweet so in this way we have actually created a tweet text classification implementation using the pytorch library so we also use torch text over here so the learning for me over here was how to create this iterators for custom data set so once I created the iterator, I was able to crack this part. Then I could actually follow this tutorial to create my own, um, to modify this model a little bit and, uh, you know, create a text classification model. So I would in future want to experiment with other models like uh, LSTMs and uh, CNN by modifying this uh, text classification model, as well as modifying how I pass the input to such models. So I will be working on that and I hopefully will have future videos on uh, text classification using PyTorch library but using different uh, models like say LSTM or CNN. I hope you like this uh, video. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in a new video. 
ஹாப்பி லேர்னிங்